Bunge la taifa leo limerejelea vikao vyake baada ya likizo ndefu. Baadhi ya shughuli muhimu katika kipindi cha sasa ni pamoja na hoja ya kurekebisha katiba. Hii ni rasmi kwa ni speaker Moses Wetangula amewasilisha mapendekezo haya kutoka kwa barua ya Rais William Ruto. Hata hivyo wabunge wa Azimio wametilia shaka jaribio hilo wakisema uamuzi wa mahakama ya juu kuhusu BBI unamzuia Rais kuanzisha mchakato huo. Whether you agree with the Supreme Court or not, when we went through the BBI process, the Supreme Court was so clear that a sitting president cannot initiate any changes to the constitution. By the very fact that those proposals have been made by the president, it makes them crumble ab initio. If we are told that the president is initiating a constitutional amendment, then it means that it is, it is going to fail because according to the Supreme Court judgment is that the president cannot initiate constitutional amendment. Now wabunge wa Ruto wamesema rais ana uwezo kisheria wa kuanzisha mchakato huo kupitia bunge. Nobody can go to court on the basis of the letter he has written. It's, it's just a letter, simple letter. If he had gazetted, the whole thing would have been similar to what we did for BBI and that's why BBI was rejected kuhusu ofisi ya kiongozi wa mpinzani so if we want the office of the official opposition then why can't we then go the full hog and have a parliamentary system because that is where you find the office of the official opposition give us minor k24 nairobi